And of course, we are the station that continues to hold people in power accountable. And when a Niagara Falls roadway that was literally filled with potholes last winter is suddenly pockmarked yet again, we went to try to get some answers today. And two on your side is Jeff Preval. His original report got that road repaired originally. He's live tonight with more. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, Scott, we're live here on 80th Street in Niagara Falls. A lot of drivers use this road to get to and from the big box stores and the fashion outlets. But one thing slowing them down, as you can see, the potholes, they are back. We first told you back in February about the horrible condition of this portion of 80th Street. Deep potholes that were unavoidable. The city's Department of Public Works was prepared to set up barricades on the road because it was unsafe. When we started asking questions about whose responsibility it was to fix the road, we were led here to the Niagara Falls School District. This land where there are department stores and restaurants used to be where LaSalle High School was. When we sold the LaSalle High School back in the uh, late 90s, uh, that small parcel of land was never, uh, that easement was never transferred back. It came to light when potholes showed up on the road. Our questions to Benderson Development led the company to patching the road, and the Niagara Falls School Board handed the easement over to Benderson Development. So the Niagara Falls City School District is for all intents and purposes, out of the 80th Street business. But, as you can see, a lot of the potholes are back. Many drivers swerve into the other lane to avoid them. And after we did that initial story, a lot of drivers were thankful that, that this portion of the road got repatched, however, Will that happen a second time? We have an inquiry. We have many questions into Benderson development about when this road will get repaved, hopefully for good. However, we have not gotten a response. Reporting live in Niagara Falls, I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.